Hi Jim, lovely to hear from you. Um, you're totally right to ask this question about filling up the pool with roof water. Once the pool is full, do you carry on allowing roof water to go into the pool and let it overflow? Um, and the answer is no. And the reason for that is um, it's not very good to just have a continuous flow of water. It really encourages algae and actually you're constantly reintroducing nutrients, even though it's a small amount of, uh, of a clean roof. Um, nonetheless, it's better if once the pool is full, then the pool can just condition the water and, uh, and keep it healthy. And so the added nutrients that could be added uh, unnecessarily from, from more rainwater um, should be uh, diverted elsewhere once the pool is full. Now to do that is actually really quite simple if you've got an exit drain or an overflow drain. So um, uh, imagine this is uh, an up -up pool. Um, in fact, the way I'm going to draw this, I've done it the, done it the wrong way around. So that's, that's, not, that's not very good, is it? Already wrong. Um, so, okay. Uh, so this is our pool here. And uh, we ha normally have an overflow drain. Uh, normally, it's got a, we have a right angle bend on it that comes through like this. Okay. But what we're going to do here um, is uh, we take that one, take that one down. In fact, just tip it over. It's a right angle bend. Just tip it over so that's now below the water level. And what we have, what we put outside the pool, because uh, this is normally your exit drain for the for the overflow water. Uh, what we have, we put a nice, another little tank. Okay. So now, now this tank, because it's connected here, will be at the same water level as the pool. Yeah. And what we have in here now is a replacement, uh, one of those right angle bends like that. Okay. I'll show you um, what I mean in a second. Okay, so now the pool level is determined by this uh, right angle bend. So if the, if the pool level increases, uh, the water level increases here and water starts to flow down through the pipe and then back to your soak away or whatever the pool um, uh, overflow was meant to go. So this is just in the, uh, added into the system. <clears throat> now what this allows you to do is your rainwater off the roof can come along yeah and if the pool is full any rainwater that comes in will come into here try to raise the level of this but actually it will be trapped the level will be locked in by the height of this elbow. Um, but when the pool level is low, yeah, like that, then the water level is now down here. So any water that comes in, it leaves via here. Yeah. So this is actually contributing to raising the water level back in the pool until it's full again, and we end up with this stable state. So just to illustrate what we're talking about, we've got a, a tank here. This one's a bit small, to be honest, um, but it would do, it would do. A tank and um, tank connector. So that would be there, yeah. Connecting onto your um, exit drain. Um, <clears throat> Uh, we've got a right angle bend here. Uh, this is a, a, a swept T fitting, but I've just oh, I've just capped the end off there, just to make it into a right angle bend. So that is that, okay. And then that goes through the through the box here, and then you would have another four inch tank connector. Uh, stuck on there like that okay um, and then obviously that then leads away 
uh, back to your, um, what is it, uh, soak away, back to the soak away. Okay, so we end up with a structure, no, oh, I'm not going to be able to hold that together, right. something like that, okay. So here our water level, um, so then we have our rainwater pipe, which I've um, you know, left over there. Rainwater pipe just drops in here, and the, if the water level rises above here, it drops down into there, out to the exit drain. If it's less than that, then all, any water that comes in here from your roof will go into the pond. <sighs> Clear as mud. Hope it helps. Okay, so my exit drain is around there, the right angle bend in the, in the pool. Okay, this is a four inch pipe in the pool, which is connected to the exit drain and I should be able to move that, push it down um, to control the water level. Uh, if the water in the pool rises, um, it will only get to about here, obviously, just wants to clear the lip just to take it away um, but there's so much um, plant growth around it uh, I've got no control over it at the moment but I know it's doing a job when it gets too full um, but the actual drain is down here okay this is a a mock-up of it just placed on the ground and the rainwater comes in something like that. Mm -hmm. 